Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of CAD and Swell Tuso. So in today's lecture we are going to see how to create a PMOS and we are going to uh, simulate the schematic of PMOS as well. Alright, we will uh, plot ID versus VDS uh, transfer characteristics and uh, VDS, ID versus VDS graph, ID versus VGS graph, these we are going to plot. Alright, so I am going to delete everything here. Okay. Yeah. So uh, now, first of all, create an instance. All right, create an instance of PMOS. So go to this GPDK 090 library, create an instance of PMOS and here it is our PMOS. Again, add an instance of voltages. For that, go to analog library and add VDC. So add one voltage here. That is for gate to source voltage and add another voltage here that is for a drain to source voltage all right so now as if you remember in nmos what we did was we uh, cre uh, for we added the gate to source voltage the positive terminal here and negative terminal we added towards the source uh, okay and that was grounded so we added towards it towards the ground but here what we are going to do uh, this is not for pmos it is not vgs First of all, I will just change the name. This is VSGL actually. All right, because that is how we are going to make the connection and we will give it the value 1.8. Okay. So this is VSG. Similarly, this one. This is VSG. Well, I will tell you what I mean by VSG, naming it and VSG. What happens is that we will connect it with wire. So you see this wire VSG basically is VS minus VG. All right, that is VS is connected to the positive terminal. That is the source is connected to positive terminal and gate is connected to negative terminal. Similarly, VSG, the source is connected to positive terminal and the drain is connected to the negative terminal. All right. So now we are going to add the ground. So now we are going to add the ground. Okay, so here we are going to add the instance of ground and this is our ground. All right, so this is how our PMOS will look like. So this is the drain terminal, this is the gate terminal and this one is the source terminal. So first of all, and one more thing that this substrate, it is going uh, here with source. So this is our substrate, right? So let's check and save. And now we are going to try to simulate it. So first of all, go to launch ADEL. Now here, first of all, go to analysis and choose. So we need to plot uh, ID versus uh, VDS graph. Basically in this case, uh, VSG. Now what uh, will actually happen? Okay, let me just show you. So we will select the component first that is this VSG and we are going to press OK. And now we are going to add a parameter name that is DC. Start will be 0, stop is 1.8. Sweep type linear, step size 0101. Alright and press OK. And now while selecting the output to be plotted. So here for the output to be plotted, what we will do instead of plotting the drain. Okay, we are going to plot the source. Now why we are going to do, uh, we are doing that, uh, let me just show you, let's And you can see here that it is in the positive values that is in the first quadrant. We can see that it is in the positive values that is uh, first quadrant. Sorry, uh, my system was hanged for a minute. Yeah. All right. So now this is for the single value. Okay, and let's say now we want to uh, 
added for multiple values of VGS. So what we are going to do is we are going to change the value of here from 1.8 to uh, VSG. Basically, this is VSG. All right. And here, uh, what we are going to do in the LDL, we are going to go to variables, copy from cell view. So we have VSG. Select this value 1.8. Okay. And go to tools, parametric analysis. So in this, add the variable that is VSG in the from value 0 to value 1.8 step mode linear steps and total steps let's say 0 0.3 and let's now run Okay, let's see what is the issue. So let's just close this ADL. Okay, and we will launch it again. Yeah, so for analysis, go uh, choose the analysis. All right, so here go to DC analysis, same steps and here component name is dc start 0 step 1.8 sweep type linear step size 0101 press ok and now for the output go to to be plotted select on schematic select the source just for our easy interpretation and here go to the tools first of all for the variables copy from cell view vsg 1.8 and here in the tools go to parametric analysis add a variable that is vsg from 0 to 1.8 total steps uh, no 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 just take this as linear steps step size is 0 0.8 say 0 0.3 and now let's run yeah so this time it is running and we see this is how we are getting the graph of pmos for different values of vgs id versus VD, vsg graph for this uh, difference value or different values of uh, vgs vsg actually and it is basically the current from the source terminal so this is uh, that's uh, uh, for our easy interpretation make the PMOS circuit. So this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.